Just like with um, ordinary trig functions, sine and cos, there are loads of identities you can prove for sine and, and cosine. I'm just going to prove a few of the most important ones here, the double angle uh, equivalent results for hyperbolic functions. So the first one we've got uh, that looks just like the one for uh, for ordinary trig functions is that sine of 2x is equal to 2 times sine x uh, cos x. Now I'm going to prove this directly using the definitions of cos and sine here uh, on the right. Now, now remember when you're proving identity, you mustn't start with this uh, result and prove zero equals zero or one equals one or anything like that. That that logically doesn't doesn't work. Um, you you must start with either the left hand side or the right hand side and, and work it into the other side. Here it's much easier to start with the left hand side because I've got something that I can obviously just substitute this in and hopefully it'll it'll come out to be equal to sine of 2x. So starting with the left hand side, the left hand side, that's uh, 2 times sine of x times cos of x, uh, and that's equal to 2 then times uh, sine of x is e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by 2, and cos of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2. Uh, so then we've got uh, 2 times a half times a half, so we've just got 1 half here, and if we multiply out uh, the numerators here, so let me just write that again, so we've got e to the x minus e to the minus x times e to the x plus e to the minus x, I'm going to get 1 half times e to the x times e to the x, e to the 2x, e to the minus x times e to the minus x, and I've got a minus there, so that's minus um, e to the minus 2x, so there's a, there's a minus in there, you can't see it. Um, and then I've got minus e to the x times e to the x, i.e. minus 1, but then I've also got plus e to the x times e to the minus x, uh, so they cancel out, so I've got a half e to the 2x minus e to the minus 2x, uh, so that's exactly um, shine uh, x here, but with 2x in place of x, so that's shine 2x, uh, which is the uh, left hand side, sorry I've realised at the start here I wrote left hand side where I mean uh, right hand side, I've started with the right hand side and worked it into the left hand side uh, so I've proven that that is an identity. Um, the next one I'm going to prove is that uh, the equivalent result for cosh, which is that cosh of 2x is equal to shine squared of x plus cosh squared of x, goes in a very similar way, so if I start with the right hand side, um, that's shine squared plus cos squared, so that's e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 squared plus e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 squared. Um, that uh, gives us, let's put it down here, it's a factor of one, one half squared or one quarter throughout everything, and then I've got e to the x plus e to the minus x squared, so that gives us e to the 2x plus uh, e to the minus 2x minus 2 lots of e to the x times e to the minus x, uh, which are both, both 1, so that's uh, times that's just 2 there, and then similarly for this one we get uh, e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x uh, minus 2, if you multiply that out, uh, and that simplifies down then to um, well, I've got uh, a plus 2 here um, and a minus 2 here, sorry, I should have a plus 2 here. Um, so I've got a plus 2 and a minus 2 and they cancel out and I've got 2 lots of e to the 2x and 2 lots of e to the minus 2x times by a quarter. So overall I've got 1 half e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x, which is exactly the uh, formula for cosh with 2x substitutes into it, so I've got that that is equal to cosh of 2x, which is the left hand side, so I've proven that identity. Um, and just with the ordinary, as with all the ordinary uh, sine and cos identities in the double angle formula for cos, um, if we use the formula cosh squared x minus sine squared x is 1, the identity uh, there, we can uh, rewrite this one in two different ways. So I can take, um, so I can either say that uh, cos squared x is 1 plus shine squared x here, or I could also say that shine squared x is cos squared x minus 1, rearranging that. And what that allows me to do is to say that cos of 2x, uh, which was 
sine squared x plus cos squared x. I can either replace cos squared with 1 plus sine squared and get um, 1 plus 2 sine squared x, uh, or I could replace it instead, uh, I could do the other way, I could replace sine squared with cos squared minus 1, and I would get 2 cos squared x minus 1. So sort of 3 identities all in 1 there for, uh, for cos 2x. Uh, the final one to look at is uh, tanch uh, 2x and uh, tanch 2x uh, is shine 2x divided by cos 2x and if I combine these two results I've just got here then uh, shine 2x is 2 shine x cos x and cos 2x is a shine squared x plus cos squared x Um, so, uh, if we divide through top and bottom here by cos squared x, then I'll cancel out a factor of cos there, and I'll, and I'll get 2 sin x over uh, cos x. Sin x over cos x is tanch x, so that's tanch x on the bottom. Dividing it through by cos squared, sin squared over cos squared is tanch squared x, and cos squared over cos squared x is 1. So, there we go. We've got a, double angle um, identity for uh, tanch here that again looks quite similar to the, the results for um, ordinary tan and they all look a bit like the ones for uh, sine cos and tan with a few with just with um, uh, the sign changed uh, a little bit as we say that's that's typical of identities for hyperbolic functions they're very similar to the trigonometric identities but in some places you have uh, a negative where you had a positive or, or vice versa.